Welcome to the second installment of the new Tom's Tips and Tricks videos. Uh, judging by the amount of positive feedback I received this past week, it looks like you guys are content with the new format, so we'll stick with it for a while. Um, I have a pretty good list of topics to, to, to work on, uh, probably enough to do at least, at least one a week, so I'll see if I can keep up that, that schedule. Um, and also, I'm, I'm ready and willing to do a video on any subject you guys want to recommend. So if you have any ideas, something you'd like to see, something you're puzzled by, you want to see me work, you know, see how, how I would do it, just drop me a line on uh, my website, tomstechniques.com, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, I had originally intended on doing a video tonight on grinding a uh, tool bit for a fly cutter. But after thinking about it a, a bit, I, you know, I had a couple requests for that. But after thinking about it, I, I figured I already did a video on that. So if you guys, you know, if, before you request something, look through the, the, uh, my videos. It's probably easier on the website than it is on, on the YouTube channel. It's a little better organized over there. And uh, make sure I haven't already done it. So uh, instead, I'm going to do a video on uh, sort of a poor man's power feed for the compound rest on the lathe. If any of you guys have ever tried turning a, an angle on a part using the compound uh, rest, you know how difficult it is to get a nice even finish on it or a good finish. Every time you, you stop turning the crank or speed it up or slow it down, you know, break the chip, it's going to leave a mark on the work. You usually end up with a look, pretty crummy looking finish. So what, what I did or what I figured out how to get around that is I, I uh, sort of made sort of a poor man's power feed using my uh, cordless drill. So uh, let's switch over to the lathe and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here I have a setup for machining an angular surface on a part using the compound rest. Um, I have the compound set on, I don't know, 35 degrees and basically to machine that angle all you do is crank the tool bit across the, the surface you want to cut. Okay, pretty simple, but as I mentioned if uh, you can't maintain a nice even feed rate, you know, every time you, you stop to grab a, get a new hole on the crank or slow down or speed up, break the chip, whatever, every time you do that, it leaves a mark in your work. Basically makes it difficult to get a good finish. So uh, what I've done or what I've came up with in the past for making a, getting a better finish a situation like this is I made a little tool. I make a lot of tools. You know, a few minutes spent spent on a tool or a fixture can save you hours or greatly improve your work. So I make a lot of tools. Um, all this is is a little socket. It's just a piece of aluminum with a hole drilled in the end of it and a notch milled crosswise and then a little shaft turned on one end. Okay, and this, this socket then fits over the crank on the compound rest. It, it's, it's pretty sloppy. I mean, it's purposely sloppy so you don't have to line it up real well. And then, just take your trusty cordless drill, mount the socket in the cordless drill, and you've got a instant power feed. Let's take a little deeper cut than that. Gives you a nice even feed rate. There's no marks from stopping the tool on the work or from varying the speed. Gives you a really nice surface finish. And uh, pretty simple to make. Like I said, just a piece of aluminum. You'll have to adjust yours to, to suit whatever crank you have on your lathe. I'm sure it's not the same as this one. So you'll have to, I don't know how much. I made this, uh, I think the hole's about a sixteenth oversize and the slot's about an eighth inch oversize. Just give it, gives it plenty of freedom so you don't have to stay perfectly lined up on the crank. And it works real well. And uh, the compound's not the only thing you can use this technique on. I also use it uh, with a similar socket type thing on my uh, rotary table on the mill. Um, dividing head, anything, anytime you have to crank you know, uh, by hand, this thing works great. You've even heard of guys using it on the uh, the knee 
of their the knee crank on their, their mill for cranking the table up and down. You know, unless unless you have a, a power feed on that. I mean, I know they make them, but they're kind of expensive. So you can just use your cordless drill to do that. So anyway, it's a good project, simple project. Greatly increases the surface finish on a part machine like this. And uh, give it a try. That's all I have for this week. Uh, we'll see you next time.